Alright folks, we are back. Round 2 is another solid hand. Well, I guess if the oven goes turn 1, turn 2, turn 3 and kills the Vitalist in the meantime with a Magma Spray, we could be in trouble, but other than that, we have pretty solid defenses. Black blue, okay, probably not the most aggressive deck then. Well, a good blue black control deck could actually be a tough matchup. If they have good card draw spells, counter for our creature. I think we are pretty well set to beat most mid range slash aggro deck. But control could be more difficult. Amit. Uh... We can cast everything in our hand. Uh, so I guess we have four options. Uh, no, I guess three options because we have... No, four options, sorry. Uh, Quarry Howler is probably not the best option. We could just Agony the Scorpion because we'll have to get rid of that no matter what at some point. And get in for, get in for one damage. But it's probably just better to play a creature now and then Agony the Scorpion. Yeah. And I guess Amit is a creature I mostly want to be able to attack with. Alright, sounds decent. So next turn, for example, best case scenario, they play something like Naga Oracle, and we can kill the Scorpion and attack with our 4-3. Or they miss a land drop and get need to cycle and they don't play anything. I'll take that too. <laughs> yep. Black Blue Cycle. Uh, yeah, so we just kill that and start to get in for damage while keeping stamina available mm, sweet lifelink yeah, even being stuck on land is not so funny for them but yeah, I guess sometimes this happens. Okay, so they can chump block here, I guess. And we'll probably just... I'm not going to attack with Vitalist because uh, I want to keep Supernatural Stamina available. But we'll probably just drop a Camel and remove a counter. Oh, they took the damage. Interesting stuff. Huh. I was not expecting that. Let's remove. Let's not add. So they have a plan. I mean, their plan might just be to chum block later. Or maybe they have supernatural stamina in hand and they want to go block, trade with your three toughness creature, and get my thing back. And that. That would not work because of Splendid Agony. Getting back the Scorpion, sure. And I guess they, they want to double block here and we'll just Supernatural Stamina most likely. Because I want to keep Splendid Agony for the Scorpion. I mean I can... No, actually it doesn't really change match. And using Stamina now means we can... Do we attack with Vitalist? Because I think we are just sacking it to Soul Stinger. And I don't believe they are blocking that. I, be I believe they need to double block on one of our two big guy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh crap. I misclicked. Jeez. Ah, God. I wanted to save my Amid there, but I clicked a little bit too fast and we did not save it. Which is kind of bad. And I would have just put the counter on the vital list, and basically we would have one less stamina in hand and one more Amit onto the battlefield. I don't believe this is too awful, but we kind of lost tempo here because we are attacking with less creature next turn than we could have been. So, yeah, but basically it's a misclick. I, I, I meant to do that. Oh well. Initiate instead of Scorpion. Huh. Okay. I could do them having supernatural stamina of their own, but... We could agony that and then if they use stamina on that, it comes back and tab. But if they use stamina on zombies, it doesn't come back, so they can two for one themselves. They could also not have anything. The advantage of using stamina over splendid agony is that we get to cast Kudu. So I think we'll do that. And if they are if they have their own stamina, fine, I mean sure. I guess I should have played Kudu first because the camel is coming back and I could have removed the counter. Yeah, misplay here. Yeah, definitely a misplay. I'll put counter on a counter on the Soul Stinger because I want everything, all of my creature to be lethal if possible. Yeah, I believe we st will still be winning that game, but not using stamina last turn cost us quite a bit. Was a misclick, and here, I guess we got one counter on our creature that we could have avoided. Though having one counter on Soul Stinger might not even be the worst, especially since the creature is still lethal. And it means if they wanna if they you know if they have they need to get rid of it kind of or block it and we get to put a counter on something and it doesn't need more power to kill them. So maybe it's actually fine despite still being misplayed. If anything I should have thought about that first, but it did not hurt us. I don't think it would have hurt us um a lot. Blue black control image range with some cycle. Probably a matchup where I want a stinging shot over festering mummy and a labored heart over June Beetle. And that's probably gonna be it. Kind of the same sideboard as last game, but we face two fairly mid rangey slash slow deck. And I don't think this happens very often instead. I think you should be prepared for aggro and then side in against control, but not be prepared for control and side in against the grow. I'm not sure we can keep that. Like if we hit Lancer we can kill stuff, but I guess I'll keep it. I mean we are on the draw, we have two land, two agony, so it's not like we are gonna die, I think. It's not super exciting. I, I guess we kinda wanna be applying pressure in this matchup, but it's fine, it's fine. Curse. Alright. I think Curse is a fine sideboard option against very aggressive deck slash deck that go super wide, but we are not that, so I'm not sure what it's doing in my open battlefield here. Doom Descent, or sure. Stinging shot, alright, well, at least we can cycle that and try to hit lands. I mean, our threats are pretty big, so if they wanna, you know... If 
make us lose one life and lose a card in hand just when we cast Beetle and whatnot. You know, this is acceptable, I believe. Yeah, got me. Even initiate Cream Strider. Uh, huh. Yeah, we need to kill that. So basically the plan here is, unless they have an instant that they cast upkeep, this is gonna die on their draw step. I guess spider was good. I mean land was good. We can cast spider. Gone. Alright, cool. Now of course if my opponent goes Winds of Rebuke, my spider upkeep, they get to keep their strider, but it's still much smaller. I think it's you know it's acceptable basically. Okay, sure. Sure thing, Bossu. Interesting choice now. Because we could just put the counter on the spider, which means we'll get to block soul stinger. However, if they have a removal, I'd much rather have the counter on the beetle because they want to removal the... I, I think we just put the counter on the beetle, to be honest, because... We take 4 if we do that, because they get to attack with Soul Stinger, but I don't think it's a huge concern, and they might not even block... They might not even want to attack if they have a, a removal, because, you know, they might want to block that instead. And this is much better if they have a removal, because you get we get to keep a 2-4, which, uh, instead of the 1-3. And a 2-4, if we card to sheet, can block the Soul Stinger. So this plays better around removal, and again, I think we can afford to take 4. And... You know, Beetle is, you know, public enemy number one here, so I'd rather have, you know, a minus one counter on the creature that's going to die to a removal. Now, you might want to play differently if, you know, they are playing red, and they might do something like um, Electrify. You might want the five toughness, but here I believe we'd rather have uh, the counter here because the more the, the thing that's, that they are most likely gonna think do is either bounce the beetle or um, use uh, a final reward and I think they should attack here. Well, I, I guess if they attack, then yeah, it's not even that good to be honest for them. <laughs> Another beetle. All right. Remove, put on a Soul Stinger, I think. I know it's not great to put counters on Soul Stingers, but... By having three power, I can block it with my Spider, which is quite relevant. Alright, we'll, we'll start decimating stuff, basically. I think that's the, the plan here. We have to be slightly worried about our life because they have a curse, but we are at 12. They have no good attack. I think we should be fine. I believe we should be fine. This means that here, if they have a removal for Beetle, we can still, you know, make all their attack pretty bad because. Uh, the Soul Stinger is a 3-4. Yep. You stride it up. A uh, second stamina is nice. So I guess we Cartouche off Trank. It doesn't really matter. That Beetle, maybe. Killing that. Yes, please. And then we kill the sniper. They will probably try to make some block. We'll get to supernatural stamina. 
all the good stuff. <laughs> Best case scenario, they double block the you know the one that did not fight and single block the other one, and they get utterly destroyed. Okay, well that's yeah, that's decent move on their side, I guess. They take a lot of damage, though. Uh, we are at 11. I don't really believe we are gonna die here. And we have answers to Flyer, a Splendid Agony, yeah. I don't really see ourselves dying. Even if they go final reward your spider, put you down to 6, then we get to attack with 2 beetle every turn, so black, what are you gonna do? Even if they have something like Leaf Keeper, we can, you know, get rid of the protection by targeting it with beetle and then shot it. The decimation is happening. Uh, okay, sure. I mean, your creatures are gonna die. You can get them back as much as you want. They are still gonna be dying. <laughs> Another card to have strength. Yeah, I guess why not? We are not playing around the them having a stamina here because it's not very likely that they do at this stage. Uh, they would have cast it a long time ago. We could start attacking with spider, we should probably start attacking with spider. Oh, so remove one here, put one here, remove one here, put one here. <laughs> oh my god, complete decimation of the opponent. So I guess they chum block the one that doesn't, no, <laughs> the one that doesn't trample. Take seven down to four. Yeah. Sure. Be my guest. <laughs> like, even if they top deck a Wandering Death or a Grave Digger every single turn from now on, <laughs> they, they just die. All right, we got there. <laughs> and surprisingly, the, the you know triple deck, triple beetle deck is is doing some good things. We we haven't had a nest of scarab yet, but hopefully this will be for the final. In any case, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and see you for the final.